In this lesson, we're going to talk about one problem that revolves revolutions. We're going to convert um, kind of the idea of revolutions and we're going to turn it into how many degrees are happening in a certain period of time. So we have a disk drive that spins 480 revolutions per minute. How many degrees will elapse in two seconds? Um, so this is a dimensional analysis slash stoichiometry kind of a problem. Um, so the given information that we have is um, uh, we have 480 revolutions per minute. So 480 revolutions in one minute. Now in the end of this thing, we are looking for kind of a degree per second kind of a thing. Um, so if we can figure out the degrees per second, then we'll just multiply it by 2 to figure out how many degrees in 2 seconds. So we got to take this thing and start to kind of convert. So um, we could do time first, we can do degrees first. So we got to introduce seconds and we have to introduce degrees. So um, uh, let's say we do time. So time is we need to cancel out minutes and introduce seconds. So we need that label to cancel. So what we need is some sort of an equivalent fraction here. So one minute is worth 60 seconds, is equivalent to 60 seconds. So our final answer in the denominator is going to have seconds. Perfect. And then now we need to multiply by something else because we don't need revolutions, we need degrees. So we need revolutions down here. So the label will cancel and we can bring in introduce degrees. So what kind of equivalent fraction can we create out of that? Well, one revolution is equivalent to 360 degrees. All right, so as far as the labels go, we have degrees on top left and we have seconds on the bottom left. Perfect. So if we multiply this stuff out, the top multiplies to 172,800 and now the label on that would be degrees in 60 seconds, which is not wonderfully helpful. So then we simplify. That becomes um, 60 divides into the 172,800. 2,888. degrees in one second. So that is what we wanted, but we want two seconds. So we'll just take that answer, multiply it by two, and that gets us 5,760 degrees um, per two seconds. And that was a problem revolving revolutions and us converting. Thanks.